Hello, and up for sale today, I've got a beautiful, super low mileage 1994 Land Rover Defender 110 three door with the 300 TDI turbo diesel and R380 five speed manual transmission. Now, this is an import from the UK. So it is right-hand drive, and it's now located here in Michigan and comes with a clean, clear Michigan title. Now, speaking of clean, this Defender is super clean. And if you watch the entire video, I'll show you the inside, the outside, the underside, and even go for a test drive. Now, because I want happy customers, and because happy customers mean repeat customers and referrals and word of mouth, I want to show you the good along with the bad so that you know exactly what you're getting if you decide to purchase this Defender. So let's start off with the blemishes so we can get those out of the way. And then we'll get on to the good stuff. So it looks like there's quite a bit of wear and tear on the, uh, the back bed here, but it is a blank canvas. It's ready for you to put carpet in, wood flooring, toolboxes, camping gear, whatever. It's about six and a half feet long and you could easily put an air mattress back there and camp, or you could seat six to eight people back there. So, blemishes. Let's get those out of the way. These are not new doors. The skins on the doors are new, but uh, there's a little bit of, looks like they've been repaired with fiberglass or filler. So the doors are not perfect. Um, there is a hole here in the door and a little bit of rust in the corners. But that does not affect the way it shuts. It still shuts nice and solid and it seals properly. So it's pretty much cosmetic. Now, other blemishes on the vehicle. The paint, I would say, is an eight out of 10. It was professionally done, but there are a few drips like right there, but that's where your license plate goes. So that will be covered up. Also, there is a run in the paint right here on the driver's side, not too noticeable. And then another one on the wheel arch here. Now this can be wet sanded off and polished, so it does not need to be repainted. Other blemishes, let's see, in the footwells here, there was a little bit of rust. So we ground it off, wire brushed it, primed and painted it. And so there's a little bit of cosmetic rust in there, but the footwells themselves are amazing and in original condition. Normally that's where they rust out right there at the top. As you can see, it's all good. Um, what else? The bulkhead corners were repaired professionally. So those are in good shape now. A little bit of wear and tear I don't know how that happened but the uh, the sound deadening material got a little bit damaged under the bonnet um, there's a little bit of a, a ding there in the door and right there as well but I mean now we're really nitpicking here other than that the vehicle is good so let's get to the good stuff here um, rear cross member amazing original condition this has not been repaired or welded all original as you can see on the back side here that's normally where they rust out right there at the jack points and you can see they are in amazing lovely condition we've got a new fuel sending unit new shocks gabriel shocks all four corners brand new set of federal mud terrains We've got new hinges on driver's and passenger doors, and the doors all shut nice and solid. Super glossy, shiny paint. In the engine bay here, we've got a brand new alternator, brand new fan belt, new fuel filter, new fuel lines front to back, new fuel lift pump, new clutch master cylinder, and the vehicle has had a full service fluid change from the swivels all the way back to the rear diff. So all new fluids in the vehicle. 
Doors are in pretty good condition. There is a little bit of surface rust on the bottoms, but nothing too serious. Door cards themselves, forgot to include that in the blemishes part of the video. Um, but anyways, they are original and do have some wear and tear. But again, footwells are beautiful. New carpet on the seat boxes. And this is how you can tell it is a low mileage vehicle because normally this piece right here gets ripped or worn out. And the gas pedal, that's another indication of low mileage. There's hardly any wear and tear on this pedal at all. The steering wheel. Normally on high mileage vehicles, this rubber, you can twist it with your hand. This is super solid. So, oh yes, and we do have a broken piece of uh, plastic here in the dashboard as well. But we do have a working dome light. And if you're shopping around for defenders, you'll know that that is a huge rarity, a dome light that works. And speaking of lights, I've done my best to make sure all gauges and everything are working. When you turn the ignition key on, the glow plug light comes on, the brake light comes on because the parking brake is engaged. If you take the parking brake off, put it back on, that's working. It fires right up. Parking brake light is still on. Fuel gauge working, temperature gauge is working. Odometer, 60,000 miles. And the 300 TDI is a little bit smoother. Might have two or three more horsepower than the 200 TDI. A little bit quieter. And we've opened up a brand new fresh oil change. Nice and clean. And we'll gently set the oil cap here. As you can see, there's no back pressure or blow by. Just a little bit of vibration. And there's no smoke coming out of the tailpipe. So it runs and drives superbly. So now we'll go for a ride. Okay, so let's go for a quick ride. I'm gonna show you the gear changes, the acceleration and braking and all that stuff. And listen for the uh, gear changes. You're gonna notice that there's absolutely no noise coming out of the drive line, out of the universal joints or splines. No clunking in between gear changes. It's absolutely solid. Because it's such a low mileage vehicle, the parts are not worn out. So as promised, here is the underside. And we'll start with the passenger side here. Take a look at the outriggers in beautiful shape. And there is absolutely no welds or repairs on this chassis whatsoever. Control arm bushings in great shape. Front outrigger in great shape as well. No welds or repairs. And there's the 1993 chassis stamp. Again, rear bushings all in great shape. No dry rotting or cracking. <laughs> New set of shocks. And this is where they normally rust out here at the bottom of the frame. But as you can see, it is in perfect shape.
Okay, and this axle does have rear disc brakes on the 300 TDI. Rear diff is nice and solid, no leaking. There's our new shocks. And here's another look at the rear chassis. Beautiful condition. No welds, no holes. I just want to reiterate how genuinely original this vehicle is. That's factory paint and factory seam sealer in the wheel wells here. How many defenders have you looked at where you've seen factory paint inside the wheel wells? No rust proofing, no rubberized coating or anything like that. All original. Here's the rear axle, the rear A-arm. All in beautiful shape. And even under the bed here, there is still factory original paint under here. There's no rust proofing, no rubberized coating or anything like that. All in original, beautiful condition. Okay, moving along here to the front of the vehicle. Passenger side swivel in great shape. No leaking going on there. Front diff. Driver's side swivel. Same story. Nice and clean. Got a new set of shocks up front as well. Oil pan has a new gasket. Um, items to be noted. There's a slight leak coming out of the side of the motor where the oil breather line attaches to. I think that's going to need a new gasket soon. And the front seal on the center diff is also leaking slightly. And that also will need attention soon as well. But other than that, the underside is pretty spick and span.